So Richard, could you just tell me how hopeful are you or pessimistic of tackling the problem of the illegal wildlife trade in Kenya? I think wildlife trade per se can be tackled. I think it's going to take time. It's complex. There's a lot of issues like corruption, um, difficult boundaries and borders to control. But yes, I think it can be controlled and I wouldn't be doing the job I'm doing if I didn't have hope. Uh, I am hopeful. But I think I'm realistic, it's going to take time. And what's the biggest challenge for Kenya? I think what we haven't come to terms with is climate change. I think the impact of climate change, both outside and inside the wildlife areas, is going to be phenomenal. I think the outside is going to want to get in. The inside, if the outside gets in, won't have fodder and graze. We're on an island in every national park and it's desperately dangerous if you're going to survive and I think we've got to take a lot more interest in mitigation against the, the boundary problem in the face of climate change. And this is not just about Kenya is it? I mean this is very, well, well, how important is the, the demand for this stuff from elsewhere on the other side of the world? Well I think at the moment there's been a huge demand for ivory um, from the Far East, particularly China. I think that's manageable. I think the Chinese will definitely come on side and once they realize what's happening. And I've always said, and I firmly believe today as chairman of the Kenya Wildlife Service, that China is part of the solution. It's not the problem.